Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain and show you how you can change the logo on a SharePoint site. Uh, so to do that, what you need to do is actually quite simple. Click the gear icon, change the look. Now, in the past, in the past, we used to click on site information, and that's where you could change the logo as well as the site name. Um, you can still do the, this, uh, but let me show you a more powerful option. So don't click site information, change logo anymore. Instead, click gear icon, change the look. So in, again, instead of site information, change the look, header. And of course, this is the area where you can control this header, the styles, the layout, uh, the colors, etc. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, of the site panel, you will get to see the logo section. And you can you actually have here two options. You have the site logo section uh, where you can choose an image and this site logo will appear over here. This is the site logo in the upper left-hand corner next to the site name. And you also have a site logo thumbnail. And thumbnail is actually, it could be a different image, all right, than the logo, but thumbnail is an image that will appear next to your site name when you go to the SharePoint start page, or maybe you, you do a search, execute a search in your SharePoint site. So for example, uh, let's say you have a you know, rectangular uh, logo, all right, rectangular. I happen to have kind of a round you know, square one, but you know, let's say you have a nice rectangular logo. So in this case, uh, you could use the rectangular logo for your site logo. So it will appear right here, uh, but for the thumbnail, you have to choose a smaller image. Uh, and let me explain to you why. So before we uh, do that, though, again, just want to highlight these two areas um, where you change the logo, the real site logo, as well as the smaller thumbnail. So once you obviously, you know, click change, upload the image, um, you, um, you, you just click save. So let me do that. Perfect. So the logo has been uh, obviously updated or uploaded. Um, but let me now show you that uh, where this thumbnail image uh, could be really useful and why we need that uh, other area. So if you go to, this is just one of the areas where it's going to be visible. If you go to the SharePoint start page, this is obviously the page that shows you all the sites you visit on a regular basis, all the sites you follow. Uh, right here, this is the thumbnail image right here. So again, if you have your company has like, let's say this big rectangular logo, then you would use that for the site logo. But for thumbnail, you probably have to choose um, a smaller image. As a matter of fact, as you can see here, it restricts you into this, you know, square shape. All right. So the um, obviously you need to choose a smaller, a smaller, uh, you know, logo for, for, for that purpose, if you want it to look nice. All right. And again, you know, you could have one logo for your site logo and a completely different image uh, for the thumbnail uh, image that uh, would appear pretty much in this area over here. It does appear in a few other areas as well. When you execute a search in SharePoint, it will appear next to your uh, site name. But the bottom line is uh, it has to be a smaller image because it has to fit into this uh, little square box over here. So that's all I really wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned the new trick today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.